Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I want to talk to you about something that I consider to be very important. As many of you know, our world is going through an energy crisis. And although this isn't a political video, I try to stay away from such things on my channel. Yet, of course, there are politics involved, and I ask you to be kind in the comment section. However, the truth of it is, is that us common people end up suffering for the decisions that are made. And often we have to do without resources, empty shelves, or in some cases, uh, without any electrical power. And so, a few months ago, the good folks at Picron were kind enough to send me a P600 solar generator along with a 100 watt solar panel. And they reached out to me again and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing their 2000 watt. It's the uh, E2000 LFP model. It's an updated battery. It has a brand new charging system, which is good for 3,000 charges uh, to full capacity. And uh, that's, that's really amazing. After 3,000 charges, it'll still hold 80%. So that's like 8.2 years. So it's a pretty amazing improvement. And I would really like to show that to you. So if you'll stick with me, uh, let's get to that right now. So this is an absolutely amazing unit. It has six regular 110 outlets. You can choose either AC or DC power. It has the ability to run anything that's 12 volt uh, from like a cigarette lighter type attachment. Uh, can also run much smaller attachments for DC. And then you also have multiple USB ports in different wattages and different sizes, 100 watts, 18 watts, and a couple of the 18 watts, but just a lot of extra ports that you can charge things. You have multiple options for input, uh, DC input. So you can use either your solar panel or you can charge this as you're driving your car somewhere. So if you're running somewhere and you're gonna use the car anyway, you can plug this into your car, put it in the back seat or down on the floor beside you in the passenger area. You can charge this as you drive. You can also attach up to four solar panels, 200 watt panels with this. And what's amazing about this is this will charge uh, with large solar panels it will charge in a relatively short amount of time. Now with one 200 watt panel, it takes about 16 to 18 hours uh, for a full charge in full daylight. But of course, if you have the uh, multiple uh, panel output, which is of course the optimal way to do it, then it will actually charge it up in a much shorter time. If you have four 200 watt panels, it will charge this fully in three to four hours depending on the level of sunlight. So that's pretty amazing. Also up on top, which you can see here, is it has a wireless cell phone charging area. Now my phone doesn't charge wirelessly, but you can just lay it on top and of course it will charge using an induction charger. So I have a series of items that I charged up with this Picron battery because I really wanted to see how well it would work. So of course, I charge it up using wall power or grid power uh, to 100%. You're supposed to do that when you first get it. And it charged this very large 48 volt, uh, 750 watt battery. It charged it up from 28% all the way up to 100%. It took about four hours and uh, it fully charged it. And it only brought it down uh, to about 72%. So that was pretty impressive right there. That gives me an option that I can ride back and forth to town. Uh, I can pick up things. I can do jobs in the neighborhood and have a mode of transportation. I also have a small trailer that I can pull behind here for my tools. So that's pretty important. The next item that I tested is this LED lamp and it is currently on. So just uh, running it of course off the battery. And I got my little cheat sheet here. Where I kept track of everything. It ran this LED light constantly without stopping for a total of six hours. And uh, it ran it for six hours and only brought it down from 72% to 63%. So that was, that was really impressive. Uh, six hours of continuous light. Of course, you wouldn't be using it that much at night, but just for some lighting purposes, uh, to read a book or to do a task or project at night, uh, this is a, just a really great option. And of course, standard lamp and uh, just a, an energy efficient LED bulb. The next item that I tested is this Weed Eater electric chainsaw. I've had this for a lot of years and has a 14 inch chain, uh, pulls a lot of power 
and uh, I had a very large tree uh, limb that fell down on my fence and parts of it were a good six inches in diameter and I really wanted to see if this could power this chainsaw and how long I could work it. So I plugged it in, I took it out in the field and uh, plugged it in and then it ran for about 20 minutes just hard sawing uh, in walnut which is a very hard wood and uh, took it from 63 to 53 percent so about 10 percent so again no lag time just as if you were running it off electric power from your house or off of a generator. And what's nice about this for an off-grid option, I know it sounds really loud close to the microphone, but you can hear a gas chainsaw, because uh, they're two cycle engines, you can hear those for miles. So if you're in a grid down situation and you don't really want people to know that you have power, just a few hundred feet away, this is really hard to hear. And so this provides me the option of having a very quiet, very silent way to produce firewood to stay warm. I was also able to power our small deep freeze in our house. And I give you some reasons for that, why that's such a great idea, uh, more than a refrigerator. You don't really need a refrigerator in a grid down scenario and uh, your freezer will work just fine. So let's cut to that right now. And here we are testing the Picron E2000 and it is running a small deep freeze and doing very well. During a long-term power outage I would not be concerned about the refrigerator as the deep freeze will do everything that I need. I can freeze ice and keep it in a cooler for things that I need to keep cold or just refrigerated and then everything else that I need to be frozen will be kept in the small deep freeze. Another really great use for this is to power a microwave. Now being 2000 watts, it will power something that is quite powerful. And what we have here is we have a small microwave and of course small is good. Again, we're drawing less power, but it's still enough to heat up most items. And I was able to warm up a 25 ounce can of chili. Now I did have it on the lowest setting it will, it will run it just fine on the high setting, but of course I'm always thinking about conservation of power uh, because again, charging this up does take time and so you wanna make sure that you minimize the amount of draw on the battery. So here we have a large can of chili and I've already put it in a bowl and we're just gonna open this up and place it in there. I'm going to put a piece of paper towel on top to keep it from splattering everywhere and we're going to put it on for about three and a half minutes. So while the microwave is running, you can see the amount of wattage that it's pulling. And it got up to 801 a minute ago. But this is a really excellent indicator. All right, there we go. Now, I did add another uh, minute and a half to it. Uh, I stopped it after about two and a half minutes and stirred it up with a spoon, which you're supposed to do, and then went ahead and uh, added that couple of minutes to it, a minute and a half or so. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, it's nice and hot. All right, very good. The next thing that I want to show you is this Bosch circular saw. This is 15 amps, so that's quite a bit of pull. We're going to plug it into the Picron, and then we're going to see how well we can cut a two before with it. All right, we're gonna plug this in here, just like that. Let's cut our two before. Now I ran a carpentry and remodeling business for about 15 years. So I have a lot of experience using this. Ordinarily, I would not recommend cutting this by hand uh, with a circular saw. But of course, uh, I've done this quite a few times. You do have to be careful. We be a lot better on a bench or on a pair of saw horses uh, or even a couple of blocks of wood. But uh, I just wanna show you how well this cuts. There you go. Cuts right through a two by four with no problem. This is pressure treated, by the way. Along with the Picron E2000 LFP model, they were also kind enough to send me a 200 watt panel. What's really neat about this is 
that it folds up really nicely. So it has four panels, and each of the panels have a leg that's just Velcro. So you can set it in the sun and adjust it. it folds all the way up and then attaches with Velcro and a couple of really nice snaps here. And once it's all snapped together, it has a handle to carry it. It's very thin and attached to the back. You have this zippered pouch and permanently affixed is a 16 foot cable that easily plugs into the front. So once you have your solar panel set up where you want it in the sunlight and it needs direct sunlight to charge at full power, you take this end and you actually get two of these and these snap together. There's a positive and a minus or a positive and negative, however you want to look at it. And then it has this nice little end and you open up one of these and it has for different types of inputs. Now this is a DC input, so you won't be using that one, but you would use this input here, and it only fits in one way, it's slotted, so you just slide it in like that. It's literally that easy, and it even has a threaded ring here. You can tighten it if you wish, but I find that it's sufficient just to put it in like that. In this zippered case, which you also get, it comes with a nice little shoulder strap. It also has a carry handle on top, but when you open it up, this is where the main AC charger is located. And again, it attaches with the same type of fitting. Uh, it does have a standard three-prong plug that comes with it that attaches into this end here. Of course, this is for the US model. And then you also have your nine volt charge. If you wanna charge it off the car, Another attachment for a secondary solar panel, if you want to add two panels, so it does come with enough for attaching two solar panels. And then of course, your instruction booklets, which tell you how to set everything up, both the solar panel and everything else if you buy them all together. I try to keep all of my information in the bottom so I know uh, where I can access it easily. In the back of the solar panel, you have these four legs and they are attached by Velcro. It's very, very easy to work them when it unfolds. They literally just attach just like this. You undo it and then you set these out and you can adjust them higher or lower depending on the angle of the sun that you need. And even after running all of those devices, we're still at 44% on the battery level. If you made it this far in the video and I really appreciate you watching and you are interested in checking this out or in purchasing one, uh, Picron has been nice enough to give me a discount code for 10% off for all of my viewers and that is W-A-Y-E-2000-L-F-P. So again, that's W-A-Y-E-2000-L-F-P and I'll make sure and put that on the screen as well and uh, in the link in the description box. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the down arrow. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.